determine are they ignoring the right eye, the left eye, or are they alternating back and forth between the eyes that are being ignored, or does a patient exhibit a double vision response at times. Worth 4 dot is one of my favorite tests to utilize in the exam room. And basically what this test is doing is giving us information about how the brain is processing the visual information that it receives. So is the brain able to pay attention to both eyes at the same time, or is it suppressing or selectively filtering out the information that's coming from one of the eyes? In this case, it allows us to determine are they ignoring the right eye, the left eye, or are they alternating back and forth between the eyes that are being ignored, or does a patient exhibit a double vision response at times? So in this case, what we would do with the test is we would have the patient looking at the Worth 4 dot flashlight, and as you can see, there's actually four dots on the flashlight, one red, two green, and one white. Then I would ask the patient to put on these red and green glasses to where the red lens is over the right eye. So we have this case where we have the patient looking with the right eye. If there was a suppression of the left eye, the patient would now only report that the two red lights are lit up. If we have a situation where the patient is suppressing or ignoring the left eye, then we would report seeing three green dots and the fourth dot would be missing. If we have a double vision response, then the patient reports seeing five dots total where they're seeing the two red from the right eye and the three green of the left eye. What's really helpful about this test also is that it gives us information about how deeply embedded a suppression might be or what distances a patient is experiencing double vision. And that is very helpful when we're working with a patient in the vision therapy room to know how to tailor procedures to help make them better.